what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the Hey guys, we're in a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we got a special guest Kenzo Buller, man, we in the building, man You know what's up, Talk of the Town You know what's up, 2023, we taking over <laughs> Okay, you said this the year of the baller Yeah, year of the baller, you know what's up I ain't saying that for no reason Two of my mother is the year of the baller EP just dropped you know what's up? Keep rushing out. Everybody go rush that shit. Mm-hmm. I know what's up. We taking over. Volume 2 soon to drop. Yeah. So I'm asking a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Um, Favorite color? Red and black. What's your sign? Taurus. Who's your favorite power couple? I forgot one. Beyonce and Jay-Z. I ain't gonna lie. They the richest. I ain't gonna lie. They got that bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, what rapper would you not let date your daughter if you have one? Shit. Damn. Damn. Not local, famous. Don't matter. I ain't letting Blueface date my daughter. I ain't going to front. Blueface a dog. Okay, what's your biggest pet peeve? What's something you hate? I hate people. I hate like I hate like leeches. I hate people that just want to be around like and shit active and shit whatever. But that shit regular they don't want to be around. I hate leech ass niggas leeches. Shit annoying. What's the last thing you spend money on? Last thing I spend money on probably some sneakers, some feet. Okay, favorite meal to cook? We be cooking. Favorite meal, some calm shit, steak, mac and cheese. That's it. That's my calm shit. Should be here. Um, who's your favorite artist? Ain't now dirt. Who's the worst rapper ever? <laughs> Who the worst rapper ever? I ain't gonna lie. It broke in the drill shit. Sugar King, my nigga dirt. Okay. And last one, one sentence we X. Oh, she broke I'm up. That's it. <laughs> I don't got nothing to say to that bitch. Okay. All right, so walk us into how you got into music, like your first stages and I guess getting into the studio. I ain't gonna lie. Getting to I was just listening listening to music got me into music, really, feel me? Uh-huh. Just listening to music and I ain't gonna lie. I always would try, like, niggas will always be playing around in the crib and shit, freestyling and shit, but it just got to that point one of these days where I was just like, I'm going to take that shit serious. Mm-hmm. So that's just what I did for me. Just, like, music made me get into music. Just the love that I got for music, just listening to music. So who you was listening to back then? Everybody, I ain't going to lie. Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Jay-Z, like, even Drake for me from back in the day, old Drake, everybody, bro, Eminem, everybody. I was bumping everything. I ain't going to lie. Even all b well, I was listening to all types of music. Okay. And then, I guess, so, coming up in music, you grew up with your family? Yeah, facts. Mom and dad? My mom and my dad for some of the time, but most the rest of the time was just my mom and shit. Okay. And was they supportive of the music thing? or like? Yeah, hell yeah. From, my, like, jump or it took was, some time? My mom was always supportive with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she always was supportive with that shit from the beginning, before I, even, like, before I was even taking it serious. Okay, so she's been jacking the music. Though. Yeah, hell yeah. So what made you make that transition to take it serious? I was I need I just wanted I knew I had to do something. Like for me, I wasn't trying for me. Of course niggas was doing regular shit in a on the block trapping and shit, but niggas I had to do something else. Like I had to find something to do, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Especially because niggas went to no school and shit. So I'm like, I'm gonna just find something. I said just lock in with something that I really wanna do and that's what it was for me. That shit for me. I just locked in. Okay, so when did when did I guess it start changing for you? Because what happens in the drill scene is like we get popular before we start really getting bread. So how was it like? When did it start going up for you? Mm, I ain't gonna say because I ain't gonna because we've been rapping for a minute. So it's I'd say like twenty twenty one is when it's really started going up though. Niggas was rapping since like twenty eighteen, like we dropped the video since like twenty eighteen, but. Yeah. Niggas was rapping since like 2016, for like 2015. 
Yeah. And then just playing around with me. We started taking that shit serious around 2018, 2019. Say, then, like, I stopped, then I stopped a little bit. I wasn't dropping videos like that. And then I was here 2020, late 2020, 2021. That's when I started getting serious. We dropped Fifth to the Savage, shit like that. Mm-hmm. That just started building our buzz back up. You feel me? Yeah. So dropping Fifth to the Savage and then K Flock was out. Then yeah, how your Flock was out. How yeah. And then TG got locked. So how was it like seeing, I guess, all your friends get go to jail? You still got to push through and drop? Oh, yeah. We, well, Flock got locked and TG got locked. And a couple of the guys got locked. A lot of the guys got locked. Pete, I keep me. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Feel me? Oh, so even Dougie, I got locked up at a point in time. Yeah. A couple of niggas, I got locked up. Feel me? My main goal is just keeping this shit going. Mm-hmm. Feel me? That shit wasn't going to stop me from doing nothing. Like, Honestly, like I was just that shit just motivated me even more to keep the shit going. So when the guys come home, niggas know we, yeah. we still getting this shit in motion. Niggas see the guys came home. Now we taking we taking this shit over right now. Whether niggas like it or not, the old way taking over. Like I know what's going on. How do you feel about people saying you're underdog? You were underdog of the year, but how do you feel about people saying that? Do you feel like you deserve more recognition, or what do you think? Yeah, hell yeah, for me, I'm underrated for a fact. Gangsta is like. You know, you see a lot of people, other people for me, they do regular music. They do music, same type of music as me. Everybody do music, you know. Some certain niggas just, for me, everybody, my fans feel like, for me, my videos and the type of music I make and my craft, they deserve more for me. And I feel the same way too. But for me, it's going to be a matter of time. They're going to see it. That's why I said this the year. Okay. So what's, I guess, what's some of your plans this year? Because project's out now. But you, you one of those people that you be dropping projects. It's like yeah. your second one, right? Yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah. like, what makes you want to drop a project? Well, it's basically, it's my second one, but I dropped a project, and I, I dropped the deluxe, and then this one right here. So, basically, like, it's kind of three of them. Three of them. Yeah. So, what makes you want to drop a project? I ain't going to lie. Just for me. I ain't going to lie. I always want to drop a project for me because, of course, for me, I want to get new shit out for the fans. Just new music out for the fans. I just want to get more music out the way because now... I get this music out the way. I got an excuse to work on my own music for me. I got okay. these music out the way. I could get because I always be having mad songs. Mm-hmm. So that's why I be trying. I'm trying to drop these probably like the amount of music I make. I still got like two more projects worth of music. Yeah. So for me, that's why I just been making shit that right now, making a couple songs and shit. And then once I drop that next project, that's when I lock in crazy and make mad new shit. So you really be locked in with the music. Mm-hmm. So what's your like creative process? Like how you be in the studio? You gotta be in the mood, or you always in the mood to rap, or you write. I ain't gonna lie, once yeah, once I go to the stool for me, I just lock in, I zone in, play the beat. Or well, I do if I'm writing in the crib, I I'm play the beat, we getting high and shit, play the beat back and forth, catch a vibe off the shit, mm-hmm. figure out like what I'm gonna say to it, get like a topic for what I'm gonna be talking about, and I just start the roll for me, figure out two different ways to start the roll, pick which way I want it, and that's the way I pick for me. Or when I'm in the studio for me. We just play the beat, we vibe out and shit. Mm-hmm. For me, I lock into that shit and then I just start writing. Sometimes I'll write, sometimes I'll freestyle. It depends on how I'm feeling. So you don't need like people in the studio. You could do it only. Like yeah, people hell people yeah. Or... I could I could do it by myself, but it don't matter if all my niggas in the studio. I'd be like it'd be like that sometimes. That shit has nothing to me. It don't matter who. It so every time you, T G and Ray collab, y'all like that song always end up going viral. Mm-hmm. So like um how that energy be in the studio when it be y'all three? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it be crazy. Niggas be geeking. Niggas be just lit. Niggas be active. I ain't gonna lie. For me, you know, when energy is there, everybody just vibing off each other for me, grabbing energy off each other, everything just be active for me. Mm-hmm. And it's like that's why we always make the best songs when we all three together. For me, shout Ray Bowler too. Mm-hmm. Gangsta. Yeah, so okay, uh-huh. so what inspired, I guess, the year of the baller? <laughs> What inspired the year the baller for me is really just what it means. The year the baller, like for me, this is the year that I'm really trying to capitalize on everything and really trying to go up crazy. Really for me, really trying to lock into a different, tap into a different mode with the drill shit, like mm-hmm. and just like just show a mad shit, different music, crazy, all all types of different vibes. Got everything, Jersey music, yeah. for me, pain music, drill music, all that shit. Do you feel like you don't get enough credit when it comes to, like, being creative? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I definitely don't. Like, for me, only, like, my fans would, like, give me credit because they know they're my yeah. fans. But for me, a lot of people ain't really, like, tuned in that much. Or, like, I guess they're one or two niggas. Certain people probably think they go ahead and save shit. Mm-hmm. For me, but 
If you really tap into my shit, you're gonna really hear different vibes. I got all types of different vibes. Even if you hear my EP, I just drop. Yeah. Feel me? Emotional damage, my type of time. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna talk about shit. that one. Different too. shits. But um, so um, so I feel like I feel like people, the ones that you be dissing, be the ones that be hitting crazy. But yeah, then yeah. You have low key songs that like you know what's the move, shake the room, shit like. Oh yeah, yeah, shit like for that. the girls too. So yeah. like. So what made you pick like these eleven songs? Like the, the eleven songs on the yeah, eleven songs that I picked because I go up those songs. I just wanted to like half of the songs with a different vibe and half of the songs like that was already that I was ready dropping and shit. So I was ready dropping like probably like two or three of the songs that was on the project like right before mm-hmm. or the same week. Mm-hmm. So I just dropped those shits and then I just had that. So I just wanted to do half a different vibe and half with that. Like just to for me just to tap in like Three. And I had some Jersey shit on there too, so I really tapped into like three different modes on that album. If you really tap in, yeah, so you know the song everybody's talking about is op hunting. Yeah, <laughs> they like yes, before the song, before the beat drop, he's already dissing like mad people. Yeah, hell yeah, niggas had me mad. I ain't gonna lie, that's that shit though. That shit, I'm like one point six in a month, one point six million, mm-hmm. and that shit did like that shit did like a million in like two weeks too. So you see, you see how that shit go. Yeah, it's moving on TikTok. You be you uh, active on TikTok? I ain't gonna lie, I be active on TikTok. Uh, yeah, I be active on TikTok. I'm just not OD. I'm about to get way more active on that shit, though. Okay. I be on that shit, though. So you be seeing the little memes and stuff? Hell yeah, I be watching the videos, all that shit. I be watching all that shit, gangsta. I be commenting <laughs> on, all, on some of them shits and all that. Okay. Hell uh, yeah, that shit going crazy on TikTok. I'm probably, I'm probably going cool. Yeah. And then emotional damage... Who or I guess what inspired that song? I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> just, yeah. you know I ain't gonna lie. That was just me tapping into my bag. That was it, just tapping into that mode. I ain't gonna lie. For me, I was just like, you know, we go through shit. For me, or like, for me, you know, certain people you just put your feelings in. That. You know, I just one of them songs. Mm-hmm. You just put your feelings. In. That's one of them pain songs. Like that was that shit for me. That was just me talking about what I was going through or what how I'm feeling and shit like that. So, are you the type to, like, let's say you're dealing with somebody, are you going to talk about it, or you would, like, write a song and play it for them? <laughs> like, do you do you open up emotionally, like, in conversation, or you really do it through music? I ain't going to lie. I, I do both. I could do, I be doing both. With some, it depends, for me? But most of the time, of course, I just do it. I don't do it with the music. I just do it personally, just me. Okay. Me. So, But when they hear that song, they know, I guess, that's the Yeah, they know the vibes. Yeah, <laughs> she, she know the vibes when she hear that. Okay, so it's been all on Please Don't Lack that you have a kid on the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that true or? Nah, yeah, it is. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. you know, well, some shit be lying. You know, sometimes yeah. fans make stories up, so nah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the truth, yeah. I got a kid on the way. So how is that? How are you getting ready to be a dad? How you feeling? I ain't going to lie. It's a new chapter for me. I'm just letting that shit go. I already know I'm going to be good. I'm going to be great. I already know. For me, I'm sturdy. It's just a new chapter for me. I'm just waiting to see for me what it's about. That's about it. Okay. Any expectations or? Mm. Shit, my only expectations for me is just to be with my kid all the time. For me, taking care of my kid, that's it. Getting my kid out of here for me. Mm-hmm. You know, raising my kid somewhere else, of You course. know if you're having a girl or boy or you don't know yet? Uh, yeah, niggas gonna see. Niggas gonna find that out soon. Okay, so yeah. gender reveal vibes. Yeah, type type shit. Niggas gonna see. That's it. Okay, we ain't far away. So if it was a girl, could your daughter date somebody like you or not? Nah? <laughs> Why you gotta think about it so hard? I ain't gonna lie. Maybe like you now, not back then, or like. Not me back then, definitely not. I don't know. <laughs> not me before. I don't know. At all. Not me before. But nah, probably not even me. I don't know. That's a hard question right there. <laughs> I can't even you feel me. But honestly, like, well, what my daughter gonna be at? She ain't gonna be raised around like niggas like me anyway, like in the hood anyway. So it's gonna be different. So you definitely leave in New York. So. Yeah, hell yeah. Where you wanna go? Or you don't know yet? I don't know yet, but it's gonna be somewhere. Somewhere? So you so y'all together though y'all in a relationship, you and man. Yeah. Okay. So like, how is that? Because some people keep their relationship private. I know y'all draw artists, y'all be having mad beef. So like, you want to keep it private or like, 
if people know. I mean, it's, know. it's shit not private anyway for me. I ain't, everybody knows. Yeah, the stuff, fans find me. everything. Yeah, everybody knows <laughs> stuff. So it's, yeah, it ain't shit private nowadays. So it's like that's whatever. Like, for me. is that annoying that like nothing's ever private no more? Ah, uh, yeah, that should be annoying. Yeah, that should be annoying, but you know, that shit come with this shit. So it's like that's whatever at the end of the day. But of course, that shit annoy you sometimes. Shouldn't know you sometimes, definitely. So, how do you like? I guess tune out the internet, or do you like try not to post certain shit, or like? For me, tune out the internet. I ain't gonna lie, I just to just tune shit out. Even if I see shit, I it's a, I ain't a nigga that really care about a lot of shit. Like a lot of shit don't phase me. So I see shit on the internet, and just be like, all right, all right, I don't care. Feel me or sometimes if I'm certain shit, bro, I always really pay attention to. Bro, I just be focused on other shit like my music. That's shit. Yeah. Find something else to focus on so you don't got to worry about bullshit. Type shit, type shit. Yeah. So it was a video. It was you, Dougie, and somebody else. And that's like viral everywhere right now. The video of Dougie. Which one? When he was like fake sleeping, I guess. Oh, yeah. I was earlier too. Hell yeah. I was earlier. Yeah, you so know, I just be us in the crib. We be smacking shit. Like real good shit. So like, so do you feel like, you know, being at, you know, you and all your friends is lit. Do you feel like... Some moments you can't share because people like misinterpret it certain ways. Or I mean, it's always certain shit. Of course, we can't share, but regular shit like always regular shit like that. That's just regular shit we always post or regular shit I've been post. Like that's just regular shit. Of course, certain shit you post. I know we all know certain shit not to post and shit. If other certain niggas do that, it's probably because they fooling out or whatever. But we know what to do for me. We know what to post. So that's just regular shit. Like, it's saying, for instance, the video with Dougie, him smack, everybody got videos like that. We always got videos. That's an everyday thing, gangster. Everybody be smack like that. That's regular. So, of course, oh, some people might take it a different way. They'll be like, oh, say some weird shit, but you know, that's just how the internet is. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like people be, like, falling out all the time. So, like, steady and see boo, then fell out. What are your yeah. thoughts on that? That shit, that shit is, that shit is just... Shit, do I people even know. know the reason to like why? I don't even know what happened. I mean, I really don't know the reason. I think it was because the B love shit, like for me, but honestly, like that shit is just like I feel like them niggas should just handle that shit a different way. The way they handle that shit is not should not it for me, especially because the ball they had before for me. And I fuck with both of them personally, like those both are bros for me. So like I just feel like they handled that shit a different way and they should have never took that shit to the internet for me. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother's not gonna do that shit, like niggas shouldn't be doing that, but for me. I don't know, but I just feel like they should, for me, just can't do that shit a different way. I said. Do you feel like you be having to be, well, do you feel like you have to, like, mediate some situations like that a lot of times? Or, like, you and your guys kind of talk through it? Oh, me, me, and my niggas, me and my niggas talk about that shit. For me, me and mine, like, from my block, we talk about it. But mm-hmm. remember, DOA is a whole lot of different blocks. So we all, yeah. fuck, we all locked in. But everybody got shit going on inside their block, too, for me. But. Yeah. It's, it's as far as if we could mediate the shit, niggas is going to, for me? Mm-hmm. Of course. And what's your stance on B-Love? You fuck with B-Love, right? I mean, like, I, I don't be around him like that. For me, me and B-Love, I don't really got a room bond with him. For me, but it's like, it's yeah. not up with me. He he, for me, bro, be playing for me. He don't be on that other shit. Mm-hmm. For me? It don't be with no weird vibes, so it's yeah. not into... Yeah, there's no weird vibes, though. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess, so, how do you feel about collabs? Because you think... Fake- you got a song with Four One and Done. Yeah. You was working with the producer Phase On. Case on, yeah, Case on, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you be heavy on the collabing? Yeah, I'll be doing some collab. I really only collab with my block, but yeah, the only other collabs out there was was with Four One Gangsta. Other than that, it's all the niggas from my block. So do you, do you want to collab with other people? Yeah, hey, I got some collabs coming in. We putting a lot of shit together huh. for twenty twenty three. Are yeah, you gonna do a song UK with a features. girl? With a, with a female? Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Something. Like, what type of song? Like a drill song or like... Losing Control Part 3. Like, type song like that. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. It's, yeah, I would do a song with a female, of course. Like, it just... They just gotta have the right... They just gotta be right. They gotta have the right vibe on it for me. That's it. So, like, who? Who, like... What's some girls that you fuck on right now? Artist-wise? Um, some females that, that like rap and shit. Niggas fucking with y'all. Yeah. Uh, Murder B. Of course, you can rap for me. Um, Shawnee Barney, Shawnee okay. Barney, Shawnee Shawnee. That's the Mac too. Um, who else? It could be mainstream too. Um, mainstream. Yeah. Main 
mainstream. Do you listen to mainstream music? I feel like a lot of us. I ain't gonna lie. I do listen. Yeah, I, I listen to some mainstream music though, but not a lot of females. But female rap, female rappers and or singers like that's all the singers like SZA and all them like they be going crazy. So you would do some shit with SZA? Hell yeah. Okay. If I get the chance to, why not? Oh uh, yeah. Too. Have a sing some shit on one of my shits, do a fucking remake of one of her samples on one of my shit. Exactly. I'll be fired. How you feeling about the whole sample wave right now? Tired of it or? I ain't gonna lie, I still fuck with the sample. <laughs> That's my shit. Feel me, but I've been locking them more back into the original drill wave now. I've been doing real drill beats and shit like regular drill beats. Everybody's starting to do them fucking drill beats with the fucking jersey shit on it, shit. For me, I'm locking in. I'm about to lock back into regular drill beats and shit like that. But I'm gonna always fuck with the sample beats once in a blue, for me, especially the shits I could get cleared. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is there, was there a lot of songs that you couldn't get cleared? It was, was it like was some, it was some, it was it was some songs I couldn't get cleared, but it was a lot of them I got cleared, so I wasn't really stressing it. Okay, for me, it wasn't like that. Okay, that's good. Some that's good. some of the song, it, it was always a song like that, the sample that I wish I could keep. How are you yeah. feeling about drill music overall right now? Some people say drill's dying. Some people say we're in the nah, good space. Drill ain't dying. The shit ain't dying. The shit going up. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody was saying that before, but now everybody see the shit going up. Everybody even in mainstream jumping on the drill movement. Mm-hmm. Everybody, bro, it's no, this shit not dying. This shit just going more up. We just gonna have to, niggas like me. We gonna have to show a new, a new like wave in drill for me like mm-hmm. that for me. So niggas can know like niggas can switch it up and shit. Everybody just gotta do something different. There's yeah. nobody as far as drill though. Drill going up. Everybody jumping on that shit. See Nicki Minaj. Everybody getting yeah. on that wave. So it's just like it's active. Um, one big problem I guess a lot of artists was complaining about is that like we can't really perform in New York. Like, oh, yeah, shout out Nicki Minaj too. That's one of the top female, my top female artists. artists. Oh yeah, yeah, that's lit. So like, how you feel about I guess not being able to perform in New York? Does that bother you? Hell yeah, cause i I just I'm, I'm I ain't gonna lie, I'm still trying to push for a show out here, bro. Like mm-hmm. that for me, me and my team and all of us, my management team, we all still pushing to do a show out here. I'll be possibly gonna get it done. I ain't gonna lie. For me, I'm just tight because like I know like this is where we get to where we get in New York. We got to shit in the town. We go have like really all our fans pop out, all our like everybody from the hometown. For me, yeah. I'd rather have niggas travel to our hometown. For me, right. instead of having all niggas from all town travel out there, because you know a lot of people from New York. Can't make it out there. They could make it out here because a lot of places they live out there, Rhode Island shit, they need cars and shit. For me, they don't got a lot of train shit out there, so they need cars. New York is different for me. So that's why I want to do shows out here and shit like that, bro. As long as niggas got good security and shit, bro, not gonna, shit not gonna happen. They be big ass stars from New York performing and shit. Them niggas be in the shit. They still be performing. So I know we could. Niggas just gotta have shit good. Okay. So Kenzo Bullet Show, who won the headline? I mean, like five artists. That's headlining the show with you. That would headline the show with me if I yeah. had one. Facts. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> My son, Dougie B, TG. Who else? Um, My son, Baldy B. I ain't gonna lie. That's three right there. Two more, gonna, two more. Two more, two more, two more. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get my son Duop up there too. We nigga a clown. Who else? One more person. Oh, shit. Think about one more person. Uh, I gotta think about one more person. I'm gonna get my son Blick up there too. Okay. Some little podcast vibe. That'll be a fire little podcast vibe. Just talking about everything in the community. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'll, I'll do some shit like that too. Mm-hmm. That'll be fire. Okay. So you said Nicki Minaj is one of those like iconic females. If you mm-hmm. had to name like six iconic artists that I guess. You fuck with or inspire your sound or whoever. Who would be the six? If you got six. All right, bet. Um, Drake, feel me? Definitely. Um, it would definitely be um, right, Nicki Minaj, she an icon. That's two. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Wayne, feel me? Jay Z, feel me? Biggie, feel me? Or Tupac, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nobody be putting they Tupac influ- or Biggie, bro. Yeah, they influenced me too, cause I was listening. I even though their music was bef- a little bit before my time, even growing up, I always listened to Biggie, Tupac, all that shit from my mom, my dad, all that. Mm-hmm. And like, feel me, I, they shit was just different. They was ahead of their time. Feel yeah. me, a lot of people, if you really listen to their music, you know they was ahead of their time in oh, this yeah. music shit. And what I guess, what do you feel like makes you stand out as an artist? 
Um, for me, it's just big saying I, I, you never know what I'm gonna, you never know what my track is gonna be like. You never know what type of track is gonna, I'm gonna make. Like you never know. Like you can hear Kenzo Bullet song, you never know what type of Kenzo Bullet song it's gonna be. It could be some love shit, it could be some drill shit, it could be some Jersey shit, it could be some pay shit, it could be some some calm shit, it could be anything. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to show how versatile I'm really in. You feel me? And just tap into all types of different modes with right. this shit. Do you have like five of your favorite tracks that you made? Five of my favorite tracks. It could be def- old, it could be new, it could be. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Fifth to the seven is definitely up there. Mm-hmm. Ready to blitz. Mm-hmm. Losing control. Mm-hmm. Um, That's one of the ones too. Shake the room. Mm-hmm. And let me see right now. I ain't gonna lie, I got a couple of them. And mm-hmm. Op High. Yeah, that's right. just a, and those just the ones that's out right now. I got some shits that's about to drop. That's crazy. Okay. And emotional damage too. That I will move on that shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. My five out of the ones that you have out is yeah, let man. let me know, shake the room, yeah, let me know, lose the control, crash out, and what's the move? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, those. I, mean, I gonna want to add what's the move to that shit too. Let me know what's the move. Let me know. Of course, they gotta go in there. Those. Yeah. My two of my one of my top shits too. Yeah, not facts. So, okay, so, you know, people say you underrated and stuff. Getting your flowers, what does that look like for you? Like, how could a supporter, I guess, quote-unquote, give you your flowers or people or whatever? So I ain't going to lie, bro. I don't really, like, I don't, I don't really ask for, like, I don't really, I wouldn't tell a person how to give me my flowers, feel me? Like, what I'm really, like, I just, like, for me, it's like, as long as niggas, like, just, just show respect and just, for me, like, let niggas know, like, for me, like, I don't know, bro. Just give niggas more recognition, I guess. More recognition? So, yeah. like, what, maybe? Like, I know, I'm sure every time you drop, you get posted and stuff. What mm-hmm. is it, like, more articles, more interviews? Like, like I know, like, stars be seeing all shit and all that. Like, for me, it's like, I don't know, bro. Just, like, for me, it's just, like, that's why I've just been working hard for me. Because I know so it's a time. It's going to be time. It's a matter of time for me. Somebody going to, niggas, I already know niggas see, but somebody going to really want to lock in. So, for me, that shit is just it. Like, just trying to, my, as far as getting my flowers, just letting know, like, I'm really, like, one of the most consistent in the town. Like, literally, sure. feel me? I, I don't make no whack shit. Like, it's just like, for me, I've been working. I'm working hard, dropping projects, all that, for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm versatile, I can make any type of song. So, that's all for me. That's what they, that's what they really know. That's what they really need to know. And what advice would you give someone, I guess, that's trying to come up in the music scene right now? I ain't gonna lie, like, if that's what you really want to do, just lock in with that shit. Make sure you perfect your craft, work on that shit every day. Like, no matter where you are, you get to the crib, throw in a beat. For me, listen to different types of songs, listen to different types of music, perfect your craft. Even if you got to get a dictionary, anything. But if that's really what you want to do, make sure you just perfect your craft, just work on that shit for real. For me, don't be half ass and shit. Like, mm-hmm. that's something that you really want to do. Make sure you do that shit all the way, gangster. If you work on that shit, you do it. You work hard enough, you get to do the right okay. shit. You gonna get something. There. Okay. What's um? I guess two of your like musical goals for yourself. Two of my music this year goals. or in the future. Oh yeah, definitely to hit the double like South shit. Okay. Double like okay. South freshman class for me. Be one of the first drill artists on that shit, and um. Another shit just to like to be like the kids like one of these. They got us, like, shows, like, nominee shows, like... Oh, like BT Awards? BT Awards or... So, yeah, shit to like be that. nominated or you got to win? I ain't going to lie to actually, even, like, to, even to win, but, but to be nominated would be a blessing either way, okay. feel me? I will, I'll be happy with that, okay. honestly. Because okay. once I get nominated, I know next year I can definitely go for that win for a fact, for a fact. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. All right. Quick little game. I'm going to ask you... I'm going to give you two options and you just pick one. Whether who's better, who's your favorite, who you like, whatever. All right, bet. Kanye or Jay Z? Jay Z. Drake or Future? Drake. Coiler Ray or Ice Spice? Mm. That's a hard one. <laughs> yeah, because they both is like for me. I don't really say I'm gonna say music like the same amount. I'm like just a little bit, a little bit. So it's like, but like a lot. Ice Spice is Bob Moose. So Ice Spice. Okay, Murder B or Maya V. Chicago drill, New York drill. New York drill, of course. 
You almost said Chicago. Yeah, I, I was about to say something else about it, but I was like, for me, I was gonna say like I fuck with Chicago drill O D, but like they they paved the way and shit, but New York drill always was just way different. Okay. XXX or Juice World? Yeah. That's a hard one right out. there. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with both of them heavy, but I gotta go with Juice World. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta go with Juice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, backwards or Duchess? I ain't gonna lie, backwards, but I don't fuck with either. I, but if I gotta choose between those two, definitely backwards. No jumper or academics? Mm, no jumper. Swayze or please don't lack? Uh, please don't lack. That shit gets spicy. <laughs> okay, scissor or Summer Walker? Scissor. D thing or use G's. So, as far as what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's I guess a better artist? Who better? I ain't gonna lie, D think better than that nigga. Okay. Yeah. And um last one. Ready to blitz or fifth to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ready to blitz or fifth to the side. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, that's heavy. I ain't gonna lie. That's OD heavy. I wasn't expecting that one. I, cause those is both like, like those both the impact that both of them just had was crazy. But I ain't gonna lie. But I guess what got you in your bag more? It got me in my yeah. I got my bag more ready to blitz though. I ain't gonna lie. Ready to blitz. I got in my bag more ready to blitz. Right. I have you on there a little bit more heavy. <laughs> okay. So, congratulations. You won Underdog of the Year. Yeah, I appreciate it, gangsta. Yeah. I guess to say a thank you message to your fans and everybody that voted for you and stuff. Nah, yeah, I appreciate it. Everybody that voted for me, everybody I know is really going on Underdog of the Year for me. But 2023, that's the year of the bull. I ain't going to keep saying it. I'm taking over. I'm telling y'all. Like, I'm going crazy. I'm going to keep working for me. Keep going crazy for all the fans, man. Shout out to Talk of the Town. I know what's up. We're going crazy. And tell people to find you. How can they tune in? I bet. Find me on all platforms. Kenzo Baller. On Instagram, the real underscore Kenzo Baller. Feel me? YouTube, Kenzo Baller. Everything else, Kenzo Baller, though. Feel me? But Instagram, the real underscore Kenzo Baller. TikTok, Kenzo Baller underscore 703. Everybody go follow my TikTok. You know what's up. We're going up.